folks it is Josie Josie here I'm glad to have you back again and welcome to vlogmas day 19 we are almost there five days to Christmas and I'd like to say big thank you to whoever has tagged along from the very start of vlogmas on December 1st and today on 9th December I'm coming to you with another DIY Christmas gift another DIY thing that you can make for yourself or for your loved ones and today we shall be making an aromatherapy candle that means we shall be using essential oils in our candles this time around I know you might have noticed my earlier video I bought some Christmas candle from my local supermarket however I'm always not keen on so bought candles because if I'm trying to clean up my environment have look at it the ingredients or products in my house and I bought it but I don't use it as much I try not to buy as many candles from the stores because most of them are not made with natural oils and I'm on this journey of cleaning up my environment so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put together an essential oil candle and I should say like I know it might be quite late at this point to collect all the ingredients you need but most of these ingredients can be bought in a kit of Amazon a candle making kit if you want a last minute gift to whip up a DIY I'll try to attach kits in the description box below that you can find on Amazon that would help if you are interested in actually making candles for this for a Christmas present or for the festive season to use around your house let me show you the ingredients we are going to use for this recipe you need a wax some people love to use beeswax and for this recipe I'm going to use soy wax and this is called eco, so, eco soy wax and that's what we're going to use for this recipe and I've got a kilo of wax over here so beeswax is also perfect it's best not to use a solid a solid block because it takes long and ages to melt down but if I'm using wax that's already broken down in small bits it melts much faster and also what we shall need we shall need a fragrance oil now this is a blend of essential oils I decided to buy a blend of essential oils because it's much cheaper and affordable as opposed to me blending up my own if you saw my little tins of essential oils I don't have them here I always buy tins that are small and in a capacity of 10 mils and by the time you get each and every oil to blend them together and yet you need quite much more for your recipe I saw it was better to buy a pre-mixed blend and this blend is a, their festive blend and it has a number of oils compiled together let me give you a list of what is in this blend I'm reading off the recipe here and this festive blend has some clove oil mandarin, orange, cinnamon, nutmeg tonka i thought i knew all the essential oil but i've never heard of the tonka then patchouli and those are brilliant blends that have been combined someone has done all the math for us to actually know how much of whichever we need and it actually smells festive and this particular bottle is in 50 grams an equivalent of 50 mils so it's actually what was more affordable i bought it for seven pounds which is quite affordable because by the time I buy each individual essential oil then compile it it will cost me a lot more so buying blends come in handy if you can come across a blend that's already pre-mixed takes away the gas game from you and then we are going to need a heat proof container that we shall use to melt our wax and I'll go with a pirate jar I've got a big one which is one liter I use for my skincare formulation so I'm going to use it for this and it's what I'll use to melt the wax of a double boiler that's not something hard to do just get a smaller saucepan put your wax in here and put it over the heat the saucepan over the heat and this sits into the saucepan and it will help melt the wax then also you need your storage containers containers that are heat resistant where you pour your wax once you've melted it and these are old candle jars if you have those candles you bought and you peeled onto the jars they come in handy don't get rid of them from now on you shouldn't get rid of your old candle jars and just in case you're wondering how to get rid of the old wax that has been left after the candles burnt out and the best way to get rid of the wax that would have remained in a candle is to pop it in a freezer it pulls off from the surface of the glass and once that is done you pour hot water into the tea and that helps melt the remaining wax and it comes out so clean no it's hard to believe that this had candle wax in and I also thought I would treat myself to something else that I would put at my dining table I was given this set of china saucer and cup I went to someone and someone gave it to me they were using it as a, a centerpiece with flowers but I decided to take them out and I'm going to use this for a candle that will be at my dining table that will burn during Christmas time I think this would be a beautiful thing and just in case you wonder where you can pick up such from if you go to your local charity shops your thrift stores you'll be lucky to come across something similar and this will make a cute 
gift to someone Christmas present and just in case you're also wondering I know because they're essential oils you can leave it open the essential oils will still be smelt in the atmosphere but if you want to preserve it you can you recycle glass jars that you would use for honey or for jams you can recycle them and still use them for your candles and also one other item we shall need we shall definitely need wicks for all the candles that's the most important thing was what's the candle without a wick to burn and we have wicks over here about a pack of 10 and this is a cotton wick that's what we are going to use and it has a little base that you use however you need something to hold down the base you can use whatever you have on you honestly some people have used some tape to hold it down or you can go big and use a glue stick but this came with a little stickers that you can attach to the bottom and put inside your glass so let's go ahead and get our ingredients ready i'll take you to the measuring table and probably another extra thing which is not compulsory is to get a thermometer you can use a candy thermometer if you have one in your house why a thermometer is important is that the essential oils are quite sensitive to heat that is only at one particular point below which temperature that you should put the essential oils into the wax and also it's important to mix very well that the essential oils are fully diluted into the wax if you leave a little a few pockets of essential oils those are recipes for burning candle can catch fire and because it's an oil so it's advisable that once you put your essential oils into your candle wax that you mix thoroughly well for at least three minutes with that you're sure that it has all mixed up and this is just your infrared thermometer but any thermometer can work i use this for my skincare formulation so it comes in handy it's multiple parts that i don't have to wash it after but you don't need it any basic thermometer can be used so let's go ahead to the mixing table and make our candles we could go ahead and measure up some candle wax and we're going to make 600 grams of candle wax so what we're going to melt go ahead and measure it up We add 600, so we are going to pop this onto a double boiler and it will just be a saucepan that's deep enough and we place it on top and put it over the stove but make sure that the water doesn't get into our wax. And while we wait for the water to boil, we could go ahead and prep our containers that we are going to use. You don't want containers that's so white because when they are wide, it won't burn, some wax won't burn evenly and also when it's so small, the container might get so heated up so you want to go with average size containers we could go ahead and pre prep our wicks we attach this to the wick at the bottom because you want to keep it in place if you don't do this, it might end up floating in your candle and it will defeat the purpose you wanted it for so I've taken off the end piece so I'm going to stick it to the middle Another piece that was quite important in candle making that I forgot was the candle center, which helps keep the wick in the central place without moving. Because once the wax is mixed, it can easily curl up because it will be caught. So we shall improvise and probably use a pencil to hold it in place. And then we could also do the same for these other three jars. They are pretty. They are quite easy to whip up once you have all th that you need. So easy. So you try to estimate where the center of the bottle, the glass jar is. I've just estimated. I'm not so sure how much it will give us, but I'm trying to clean up an old jar. Whatever remains will go into an old jar. Brilliant. So while we melt the wax, we shall also go ahead and measure out our essential oil. Our wax has melted and we want to check the temperature. For this particular one, it has man this is this this is the eco soy wax and it has fully melted at about 165, 65 Fahrenheit in Celsius, which is about 75 approximately. And if you're using eco soy wax with the, the time it melts really is pretty good enough because you because essential oil has a flashing point where it will lose all this degrade and lose its aroma if the if the wax is so hot so from this our wax is 160 and you want to pour it in at around 160 to 1, 165 
and that's that in Fahrenheit is about it's right now at 71 it's the perfect time to pour it in it's not so hot and once you pour it in you want to stir as much as you can for at least three minutes with that you know it has fully mixed into the wax And it's also the best time to pour it into our tins. I later on got a spare tin which was a honey jar. It hasn't yet cleaned up. Should there be any spare wax, I don't want it to go wet to waste. I would rather pour it somewhere. Because actually it's easy to clean these tins. You put it in water. I tried to put it in water but it wasn't enough time for it to go get off. I'll scrape the residues off. It will still be a clean, a nice looking tin which will have a lid. But these are the main containers that I'm going to use. Should any remain, I'll pour it into the other. So you're going to stir very well, thoroughly well, until all the essential oils are incorporated. Don't rush this step. Because should any essential oil pockets remain in the wax, those, are, those can easily catch fire while your candle burns. So you want to make sure that you're mixing them fully well. And the, co the in comparison to beeswax, if this was beeswax at this temperature, it would have started cooling down at the edges, sticking onto the container, but I like the way it so it works behaves, mostly this particular one. Oh, I forgot to tell you, for the amount of essential oils that I added to this, the, the good rule I love to use is an ounce of essential oils to a pound of wax. So with us here, we had 600 grams of wax and we added 36 grams of essential oils. And that's what, that's the formula I've really used to calculate how much I needed to put in. And if you're using ounces and pounds, a pound of wax, you add one ounce of, of essential oil blend, whichever blend you decide to use you can make your own blend i'll try to look up other blends and attach them in the description box below that you could try for the essential oils i believe it has thoroughly mixed up we're going to pour it into our containers and this tin makes a perfect pouring tin because it has that pointed end shall go ahead and pour in our wax you don't want to fill it all up i think that should be perfect because we don't have that little, that center point, and this takes a while to cool down, you should have to be careful. I've over poured in this. If you can tell, those center pits that I was talking about help keep it in the center so the wax doesn't dry, so the wick doesn't dry at this at the end. So, because we don't have it, I'm going to try to wrap it around a pencil that will keep it in shape. So we'll try to wrap the wick over that so it will help it dry with it straight in the middle. And we could do it to these two. So we can leave them to cool down. And we shall come back to them once they've cooled. I have a feeling I might still have to pop them in the fridge to get pretty tough. The wax to cool down fully and become hard and firm. But at the moment we are going to leave them like that for a bit until the wax solidifies. And the pencils are helping center them so these are just something you can use in your house but they are particular equipments little small metal pieces that help keep it in place while it's holding it there when you're making so many more that comes in handy but i just needed to make four and i put them in that okay i'll come back once they've cooled our candles have solidified and this has taken about close to an hour and i could go ahead and remove the pencils and with that we can tell that it's pretty much in the center and it's solid it's not the hardest not as firm you could go ahead and pop it in the fridge but if you're not going to use it straight away it's all right and it's important now the next step is to clip the wick it's important to clip it leaving just about a quarter to half an inch exposed that's to avoid burning the wrong places once you, you light them you leave about a quarter to half an inch of the wick showing through. Oops. And yeah. We've That's made our candles and they look amazing. This is one of them. This has taken about an hour to cool. They're not the hardest, so it's important to let them get solid and firm. This is the other that we made. 
but of course our sosa candle and let me know is this something you'd want to give a go have a go at making i believe they can make brilliant gifts to make to give to anyone and you can blend up any essential oils of choice and i'll try to link a few blends of essential oils in the description box below if you want to have a go at making candles to give away and also i'll try to identify a few kits that are available on amazon if you have amazon prime that's something you can easily get and whip up in time for christmas they actually come together pretty fast and just in case you don't have a thermometer you shouldn't freak out about that when i use soy wax at the point that it was fully melted it was below the flash point so at that particular point i was ready to pour in the essential oils so even without a calculate a thermometer you can still wing it but if you're working with beeswax at the point that it starts solidifying at the edge that's a good sign that probably is the right temperature to add the essential oils however it's thermometer gives a good range to work with and these are candles they're very easy to whip up and if you have old candle tins don't don't get rid of them those come in handy you just pop it in the fridge in the freezer the old wax dries up pop it out use hot water inside it and to be clean and good to go so i'm going to go ahead i might gift a few and keep this for myself because i can still make myself a bit more i bought more wax than i need and those are candles thank you for watching let me know what you think about candle making if you make a few to give out also keep for yourself and this is something you can still make for throughout the year you don't have to just stick to just the festive blends you can make these candles to give them on mother's day or to even birthdays okay thank you for sticking by and tune in tomorrow for blog Master day 20 it will be a different one it won't be a recipe it was be a blog and you'll see what i'm up to and thank you very much for sticking around and see you tomorrow thank you for watching and if you've watched through this video and you're not subscribed to my channel you could go ahead and subscribe and press the bell icon too so you're notified whenever i upload a new video thank you bye see you